Praise the Lord. How are you all? It's such an honor that I get to do this. That God uses a person like me to share his word and to hear and see that many of you are being blessed. All glory to God alone. Today I would like to share something that has changed my life, my thoughts, my attitude and uncountable times my sorrow into joy. Firstly, I would like to ask you something. Who is the first person that comes to your mind when something goes wrong? Is it the person that you're close to to vent out your sorrow or to share what happened? Not just sorrow. Who do you go to first if something good happens? Is it them again? God said in his word through his first commandment, "You shall have no other gods before me." It just means that he wants to be your first to tell him everything, to vent out your sorrow to him or to share the joy with him. Doesn't he know already you might ask? He knows, but he loves for you to give him the first priority, to seek his help, to share what's in your heart. That itself is prayer. No, it's not complicated. It's just sharing your everything with the Lord. It could be your sorrow, your pain, your confusion, your doubts, or just jumping in praise to him as if you would do with a close friend. That's why he says in Lamentations 2:19, "Pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord." He sees, he feels, he hears. You are thinking that he's far from you. No, he's definitely not far from you. He opened his arms wide for you, but you're going left to this person and right to that person and not looking straight to him. He's saying, "Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest." Prayer is not words that should come from your intellect. or you using sophisticated language it is the brokenness of your heart it could be your confusions or just giving him thanks for all the things that he's done just like you would tell a friend prayer is a form of telling that you depend on god that you need him and you want him that nobody equals to him that he is your only source and that he is the only one who can change your circumstances believe that when you pray all the things that seemed impossible will be transformed just like that There's no limited time or obligations as to when and where you should pray. The Bible says pray at all times in whatever circumstances, whenever and wherever you can. But don't forget God honors those who honor him. He likes for you to take some time alone to give him the first and best part of the day. Remember when we give our broken selves to the Lord, he mends it and makes us a masterpiece. The person who fought very hard for India's freedom Mahatma Gandhi said Prayer is not asking it is a longing of the soul it is the daily admission of one's weaknesses it is better in prayer to have a heart without words than to have words without a heart remember prayer changes you before it can change anything else god bless you